What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds where we're doing our Copart walk around, walk around again. This is Yard 18, 2829 Southeast 15th Street here in Oklahoma City. Big shout out to Copart for letting us do this and a big shout out to you for joining me today. I really do appreciate you guys being here today. Guys, it's a, uh, ooh, the weather doesn't look good. It doesn't look good, but we're here we're going to find our first car. You guys are going to die because we've showed it before, but I'm going to show it again. And this time I'm going to see if we can get it running. And ooh, ooh, what happened to you? Oh my. Golly, man. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. All right, guys, I have arrived at my hard-tuned 2011 Chevy Aveo LS base model with the custom matte black paint. No door handle, so it must be an electronic door popper thingy majig. Little bit of purple up here and white back here to just give it a little bit of extra character, man. We got a little bit of purplish pink spray paint on the light to make it really cool. This is custom paint right here, man custom it's got a custom lens they took the cover off so that you could see it better right this is it look custom custom red wheels i mean everything about this car custom window tint painted on painted on that had to be expensive guys this right here is almost worth me buying as a joke for no reason other than just nobody's gonna buy this it's a non-runner. It's got no odometer. And I don't know where the handle popper thing is on it. This, this, oh wait, it's it's got custom white paint inside the doors. Okay, all right. As you can see, she's, uh, she's nasty. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna go ahead and sit inside so that you guys can see the custom paint job up in here. Oh man, this uh, this car brings back memories of back when I was a teenager and didn't have anything. Oh, there's no door handle there either. Uh, it, I'll bet it runs. Can we open this somehow? No, there is literally, literally no door handle. The stalk is broken. This car is so cool. Custom paint on the interior as well. Oh. Ugh, this isn't working, guys. Oh my goodness. So, in order to really check this bad boy out, I'm gonna have to climb through this side. Oh, golly. Wow. Oh, boy, I almost... Yeah, yeah, the things that were probably done in this car, I, uh, I really don't think I want to be thinking about right now. There might, there might be, yeah, yeah, never mind. I, I just don't want to think about it. Uh, hey, you never know. This car might start right up, man. You might find out. Look at that. See, it's in a little Ecotec. Uh, it's the wrong engine, though. It's the 1.8. I don't like the 1.8 at all. It's a timing belt motor, and I would almost bet you money that I know exactly what's wrong with this car. Anybody want to take a guess? Yeah. Let's uh, let's put a jump pack on it. I don't see I don't see a hood prop. It's it's like missing in action. So fun. So according to my jump pack, there should be things dinging and bleeping and happening in here. Ah, and there are. What do you think? It runs. It's listed as a non-runner though. Oh oh oh. oh. Okay, I'm climbing over. Oh, golly, this is... Uh, oh my goodness. This is almost as bad as the MG, man. Holy crap. Well, I don't know what's what here. Or air conditioning. Do we have air conditioning? Hell, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Does the window... The window works? Hey, this little... Cr Dead beat, dead beat. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'll say, buddy. Guys, this car runs. What is this? 
casino. Oh boy. Mileage is, it does have mileage and it's 164,000 miles. AC does not appear to work. We have a nice, cool, smashed window right there. Cracked really, really nicely. But it runs, guys. It actually runs well. It does, it really does. I mean, it needs a couple door handles and door panels and, oh boy, she's smoking. You see that? Yeah, she's uh, she's smoking, pr oh, whoa, right in the car at me. Nice. <laughs> does that window work? It does. Hey, hey man, if this thing goes into gear, oh wait. I don't know if it has brakes. Hold on. Well, it sort of has brakes. Boy, those brakes are really bad. Like, those brakes are really bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Yeah, <laughs> they go all the way to the floor, man. Can I get out of here somehow? There's literally no way for me to get out of this door, is there? Okay. She seems to be smoking pretty good, guys. <laughs> what do you think Weird Beard would do? Don't tell him, but what do you think Weird Beard would do if I bought this and <laughs> took it down to him and said, hey, man, Look, I picked up a new flip car. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he would never talk to me again. He would never talk to me again. This car is so rough. So rough. But aside from it being really rough, the fact of the matter is it says it's a non-runner, but it runs. And it actually runs really, really well. Uh, the brakes do not work. There's almost no fluid, so yeah, you could be guaranteed there's something leaking somewhere. The alternator is charging. Now, could, could we bring this car back to life? I'm thinking, what would the point be? But sure we could, man. We could send it to Mako and have them scuff it up and paint it. Uh, we could fix the door handle. We could get a new set of hug caps, hug caps, hub caps. We could find a pull apart replace the console, all of the seats, do our best to clean up the steering wheel and the dashboard. Those are pretty much screwed. The windows and door panels are probably okay. Yeah, the, yeah. Tell me not to do it, guys. Tell me not to do it. Where is the trunk release? I don't see a trunk release. Huh. So, I don't know exactly how you're supposed to get in the trunk. Is there a button under here? or No, there's no button. Anyway, how about lights? Signals? Do signals work? Yes. Headlights? Corner lights? Yes. See, you know what this was? This was probably a decent car. And some kid got a hold of it and, and absolutely destroyed it. Just absolutely destroyed it. It's not smoking anymore, so chances are that's a valve train issue. It seems like the smoke is cleared up now. This poor car, man. This thing actually was probably a decent car for somebody. And they, uh, you know, got stupid with it and tore it up. That's number one on the list today. Next on my list is a 2017 Chevy Silverado Z71, 25,000 miles on the clock. It says it's a burn. It's a burn. I don't know, it's also been lifted. You can see the stock wheels, there's a bit of a gap there. So somebody's done some work to it. Actually very clean. Oh yes. Oh, oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. I knew it was sitting a little high. It's listed as a start, not a drive. The body looks good. 
The body looks real good. And why do we have a heat shield back here? Oh, wow. Um, I didn't see that damage to the front in the photos. I might, I might have just missed it. Some exhaust cut off there? Or what, uh, what do we got going on here? Let me get down. Um, well, it could be just me, but I don't even see an exhaust. I think this is not the right, I think this is the wrong truck. Is this a 2017? It is. Sure, so this, this is it? What happened? They took the exhaust off and it burned the truck or? Um. Oh, it was, yeah, it was a burn for sure. There is a fire residue all over the interior. All over, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The front. What happened? Did it catch on fire while they were driving or what? Oh, my. Whoa. Oh, wow. Look at this. What do you guys think happened in here? Other than the obvious, it caught on fire. I mean, there's some aftermarket wiring. Obviously somebody was checking that out. Uh, most likely the insurance company was looking at it going, wait a minute, uh, what happened here? There's a light switch there. So obviously somebody had some lights hooked up but I'm looking around and I don't see anything other than this red wire that's going into this door. And what was that? Huh? Well, I do see an aftermarket red wire running into the door. So you would think maybe that's just for sound, but you wouldn't just have one random red wire. Whatever that is going in there, guys, I would almost bet money that it has something to do with this catching on fire and subsequently uh, burning this just boy all I can say is I hope there was nobody in this or driving when it happened could you imagine how terrifying that would be to literally be driving down the road and have your door burst into flames while you're driving oh man that's that's what there's a wow Wow, that's something you don't see every day, huh? Oh, I don't know where the hood release is on this. There it is. It's hard to see because of, you know, everything hanging down. Let's take a look under the hood. It says it's a start, but guys, I'm not going to make any attempt to start this one. Whoa, the wind caught that. Yeah, I'm not going to make any attempt at all to start this. I'm not going to be responsible for it. And the fact that it took damage right here, it, it's almost, it almost looks like somebody was, was driving it, man. It almost looks like somebody was driving it, it caught on fire, and they freaked out, and they ended up hitting a curb or something. Yeah, they've got this disconnected for obvious reasons. There's a yellow wire disconnected here. There's that red wire again. And then they, they see this is this is the type of stuff. This is why people shouldn't do this to their own cars, man. If you don't know how to do wiring, you shouldn't be running wires like this. Look at this. They I don't know if you can see it, but they went through the firewall, probably through like the e-brake cable or I don't know what would be running through there exactly. But they went through there and they pulled out the grommet and they just shoved wires that are now rubbing, literally rubbing up against metal. As the truck runs and vibrates over time, it's going to chafe those wires, man. <laughs> you're gonna have, you're gonna have a problem. Now, luckily the yellow one is fused. The red one, I don't know, but still, that's sad, man. That's sad. I, I don't know what happened to this truck, but 
That sucks, because this was a beautiful pickup truck. Next, another pickup truck, a 2002 F-250 that, eh, the front end is, she's pretty hurt. Definitely going to be some frame rail issues, I think. You can see where this hook and everything is tweaked this way. Yeah. But, honestly, this isn't that bad. This isn't that bad. Unless there's more damage, like, to the rear. And that happens all the time to me. I get in a hurry. And then when I get here, I realize there's something else. But this one looks like it's going to be all right, guys. She's got good-looking Yokohama tires. You're going to need a fender. You're going to need a hood, the lights, the grill, the bumper. And can we get to this? Is it open? No, it's not. I wonder if we can... 333,983 miles on the odometer. Wow. Let's see if we can pop this hood and get a better look at... Oh. Nope. She's going to be jammed. Okay, well, that sucks. I always like to, you know, pop the hood, check the core support and everything, see how bad things are under there, the fender aprons and all of that stuff. Yeah, I, I really like to... Uh, have a close look at all of this stuff and let's see Ugh. no she's stuck she's stuck the interesting thing is it's listed as a start not a drive so Ugh. oh wow Ooh, gross oh man okay all right here we go Let's see what she does. Yeah, 333,000 miles. That is crazy. She fired right up, too. Wow. And I don't see... I don't see a single warning light on the dash. Look at this. Unbelievable. Air conditioning? I almost don't even want to touch this, man. Look at, uh, just like, look at this. So, it's so gross, guys. It's, it, this is just nasty. But obviously, with somebody's work truck, you know. Okay, window works. AC is ice cold. Ice cold. What about four-wheel drive? Let's see if it shifts. Four by four. Yes, it does. And two-wheel drive. Yes, it does. It shifts right into four. Oh. And she's in gear. And she moves. Backwards. Yes, sir. Backwards and forwards, guys. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, she, uh, take the key out of there. Oh. Yeah, she's a little hurt, guys, but truthfully, it seems like everything works on this truck. It does. I'm going to see if we can take a look, a little peek underneath, and see if we've got any oil or anything pouring out of her. Oh, that stabilizer is done. That happens a lot from the forklifts. Uh, it's not a big deal. They're only like 20 bucks. But yeah, the forks get on those, man, and it just, uh, just destroys them. But I don't see... A drop of anything underneath this truck now you won't be able to drive it with that stabilizer bent like that um, I bought my last f-250 from here just like that with the same damage to the stabilizer and the wheels won't turn so oh well next we have a 1991 mercury cougar that's been blinged out with chrome man lots of chrome chrome and gold and AutoZone stickers <laughs> You know what I mean? Come on now. I actually love these cars. Oh boy. Look. Ooh. 
I do. I love this generation of Cougar and Thunderbird. Now this is going to be the V6, 3.8 liter, but that's okay. That's okay. It's a, it's got reasonable power for what it is. Oh wow. I'm shocked actually. The interior looks, it looks really good. Oh, wow. 127,000 miles on the clock. Oh, someone was very short. Uh, remember these? God, I hated these. Ugh, okay. The key is not attached. Oh, does this... This doesn't even want to fit. Uh-oh, did somebody... Did somebody mess with this? Ugh. Yeah, uh, this key, this key does not go here. This is, this car should not be a chipped key, right? Not 91. And look at this, it doesn't even come close to fitting. Somebody got their keys mixed up. Oh, that sucks. Oh no, man. Yeah, it's listed as a non-runner. Maybe it's because it has no keys. <laughs> look, you got your books. Cougar from 1991, right? <sighs> yeah. This is one you're going to have to call a locksmith for, unfortunately, unless the key is hiding in here somewhere. And I don't I don't think it is, guys. Ugh. Look, no airbags. Isn't that nice? No airbags. Well, I think I understand why it doesn't run. Uh, there's no way that key goes to this car. Uh, oh, come on. These are so fun to get your hands into right here, man. Oh, there she goes. <sighs> Especially when this thing is flopping around like this. <sighs> yeah, the engine looks good. She does, the hood struts are long gone the battery is missing that's never a good sign yeah this car ended up just uh somebody parked and just let it sit uh, it's hard to check the oil and everything and hold the hood up at the same time but i'm gonna hold the hood up with my head and i'm gonna let you guys see the oil it's very dark but aside from that I mean, it does have oil, so that's something, right? I'll take you guys back to the sky, so enjoy that view while I check the coolant. And then I'll bring it back down here again. And I don't see any coolant. No, actually, I don't see anything. Okay, no coolant. Not a good sign. And then we'll move over to the transmission dipstick, which is way over here. Let me see if I can hold this up with my head as well. And trans fluid is, well, you know, brown. It's not black. So it's not black, it's not pink. So I'm gonna say that trans fluid is not great, but I have seen a lot worse. So let's put this back in its happy little home here. Okay, at the end of the day, here's the deal. It's got fluids, it's got no battery. It's got no key, and it is the Bling Edition. The Bling Edition Cougar. Funny thing, in 1991, I'm not sure the word Bling even existed. I was really hoping to find a key just, you know, laying somewhere, hidden somewhere, and somebody just missed it. But we, we all know that's not gonna happen. There's no key to this. Nope. Maybe hidden in here, nope. Okay, well, unfortunately, there's nothing more we can do with this one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for this Copart walk around. Don't sweat it, though. We got more coming. There are two more Copart walk arounds coming this week. And then don't forget on Monday, you will get your Copart auction results video. So you'll see what all of these sold for. And on that video, you guys will be able to look at the prices and determine for yourselves and comment which cars you thought were good deals, which ones you thought were bad deals, or which ones were steals. 
if I know my luck, come auction day, for me it's tomorrow, the cars are gonna go too high and I'm just not gonna be able to buy them. They're gonna outbid me and you know, it is what it is. Hopefully, hopefully though, we can find some new car here in the very near future to bring to the channel. I appreciate all of you for watching. I thank Copart greatly for letting me come out here and do this. If you all enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know that you like the video. Drop your comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. Stay up to date on all the newest videos that are coming up almost every single day, like seven days a week. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. It's a mouthful, right? <laughs> Auto Auction Rebuilds. Until next time, folks, stay safe out there. I'm gonna catch you all very soon in the next one.